all my time has passed, I think All the pictures of my last thoughts Will be the memory snapshots All right, guys, so we finally got the entire room all situated yesterday. So Natalie helped me build that new bookshelf, as you guys can see here. And then we basically organized absolutely everything. She folded up like nearly every single piece of clothes <laughs> in this entire like closet area. So I basically have almost like a walk-in closet now. So I can walk over here. I got all my pants and shorts over here, all my tanks, uh, cutoffs, t-shirts, long sleeves. And then we have some nicer stuff hung up here, some hoodies. Uh, we're gonna put more hoodies up there, I think. Uh, and then we have all the shoe racks and stuff down there. It looks way more open now. Um, and I just think there's like more like, there's just more space overall. The mirror obviously used to be right here where this was, and then the shelf was next to it. And we were like missing up a lot of space here. So what we did was we took this bed, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it as far as you could against the wall there and then I took my whole desk this thing's like 72 inches long so it's a huge desk you know obviously the bigger the better to make as much room as we could over here and I just like out of just pure curiosity and like discovery I put the the mirror in this corner here and like I have this big like notch in the wall and I just perfectly butted up against there I'm saying a lot of budding, butted it up. Oh. Burr. I leaned the mirror up against the wall here and it actually worked out really well. And I was like, okay, where am I gonna put, where am I gonna put this awkward ring light? So I was like, it perfectly just went like right behind in this area. So now we're taking up as much space as possible. Um, and yeah, and we still have like a good amount of light coming in here. We have the window right there. So we'll get some more natural light if we need to use the mirror and stuff like that. And we pushed these both um, bookshelves as far as we could to the left here to make as much room as possible. So now it's just like overall a lot more room. Put up the BPN canvas over here. We put up the Alphalete canvas over here and we got the little RD logo right above the TV. So it's coming together. Um, we finally have some stuff on the walls as well. I'm gonna see if Shali can maybe even send over like an Anaka thing uh, or an Anaka like poster to put on the wall right there. My man Shali came through with the Anaka shorts. So these finally came in. I think the launch was like last Saturday or something like that. So this is like a week and a half after the fact, but um, we got these new shorts in. These are like Lakers colors. Um, and then we have all these different colorways. So there's like the black ones. We got the orange. Um, there, there's there's so many different variations. They're kind of like basketball shorts, um, but they're all 5.5 inch inseam. So they're a little bit shorter. These ones I do have rolled. Actually, I don't have them rolled at all. So this is what they kind of look like. So they're 5.5 inch inseam, a little bit shorter, kind of how I like them. So honestly, really nice because you have plenty of room and they have a little stretch to them and stuff too. So sometimes I don't want them like super tight because if I'm squatting or deadlifting or stuff like that, I want to be able to move with them, right? Or if I'm playing basketball in these, playing football in these, uh, they're kind of nice for that. So if you guys want to check those out, code Ryan, pick up some Anaka shorts. I'm not sure how much is left of these, but um, the super nice mesh material. We're gonna try to do this little challenge for the next month here. So um, we've already done a full week and the challenge is gonna be uh, trying to train arms basically every single day that I train. So typically I train five to six days a week. So each of those training days after the session is done, I'm gonna hit four sets of biceps and four sets of triceps. So we got our measuring tape. We have our little notebook and write down uh, the starting measurement for this. Like I said, we're like a week into this already. So uh, we've already gone basically six days in a row doing this. Um, you guys can do this challenge with me if you want to, to kind of tack on to some training because obviously powerlifting training gets a little bit like you're doing the same things all the time. We wanted to change it up a little bit and do, uh, do a fun little challenge here. So like I said, I don't think it's gonna have an effect really on my like central nervous system or on my lifts or anything. Cause I'm literally just gonna be doing one exercise for each after each training session. Um, so don't think I'm gonna be overtraining, uh, none of that stuff. So we're gonna start off with, all right. <laughs> so we're right at 17 at the start of the month for the right. Should we do the left or just, just, nah, just based yeah. on, we're just based on, we'll base it on the right. Okay, so 17, we're gonna see if we can put on a little bit of size at least as 17 inch and we measured the right arm so yeah i think my my arms have been bigger in the past like i feel like they were like 17 and a half before maybe because i cut down i was down to like you know probably morning weight today like 219 or something like that so um 
obviously cutting down, you're gonna get a little bit smaller. You're gonna lose probably some some water, some muscle, this and that. So we'll have the next month build back the physique in total and build back the, or hopefully build up the arms a little bit. So see, see if anything happens. This is a little experiment for me too because I've never really trained this way before other than I've done so something similar where I benched every single day. Um, back in my senior high school, try to increase my bench, but we're gonna see if this works. Um, so stay tuned for the results. This is the starting point, so. So I just had lunch, finished up class, and we're gonna go head up to the gym right now. So today is Kyle's birthday, his 21st birthday, right? So I went to the store, picked up a nice little six pack of some Smirnoff ices. Plan is me and Jacob are gonna try to ice Kyle at the gym. Maybe once, maybe twice, we'll see. I asked Kyle what time he's going to the gym. We're heading up at the same time. We're about to go up. I'm gonna bring some of those up there in my bag and see what we can do. Birthday, Kyle. Dude, how does it feel to be 21? You, you have anything to drink yet? <laughs> I would have thought. Well all day, man. I would have thought um, beer in the cereal or something, man. For me, beer in the cereal. The cereal. Just like yeah. because I thought about because it. Because it's legal now, like you might have to. Might have to. It's really hard like he said to keep it up higher instead of like just letting it drop down like because then you're like literally holding it with your you shoulders yeah, yeah. Whew. what do you got today bud what do you got uh, today ohp i'm going kind of lighter because oh, kind of lighter recovery oh <laughs> four bench days you know i got you i got you yeah ohp you. leg extension That was some smooth videography right there. <laughs> Dude, that was a good lift off too. <laughs> Wee's just hit 402 on bench, so he just like tied me. So I gotta, he just hit 402, so I, I need to get higher than that. And obviously with the with the weight being down, the strength's a little bit down too, so we're gonna make a comeback. We're back on the creatine, we're back on the calories. Bigger numbers, we're, bigger numbers let's go. Right. Clocked in, clocked in at 146 this morning. You clocked in? Yeah, I clocked in at 146. <laughs> 140, is that good or bad? Like I don't, <laughs> I feel like your weight's always between 145 and 140. Dude, I could probably get up like theoretically like 150, 151. Dude, pu pu push 151 and then cut, do a little water cut. Are you gonna fight? Now? Wait, isn't that what powerlifters listen to? Like heavy, heavy ass That's metal. Stuff. Too much to the test. Cow. They're like, <laughs> Kyle really wants to hear some Olivia Rodrigo right now. Dude, That's the thing. I'm walking back from Chris's place to my place, and his car's like blaring music, right? And I like. Listen really quick. Like, it's driver's license. <laughs> and I start, I'm like, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, please. One, two, three. Come on. Get up. Easy. Let's go, baby. Hey, and guess what? 21st birthday? 21st birthday, let's go. <laughs> A good, a good rep? I was freaking way. Good rep. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, the hat's going back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, happy, happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. I was gonna go up too. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do that right before you did the rep, but uh, I figured I'd wait till that. You were so in the zone, dude. I was like. I
So what I'm gonna do is the past like three days now, I've done the cable curl. So I'm gonna do like four to five sets of that. And every single time I do that, in each workout, I'm gonna try to either increase reps or increase the weight that I'm using. So the goal is um, over the course of the month, like increase that weight and just build my arms up a little bit. Cause like, it's really not too taxing to do a bicep curl after a, a workout. And also what I do, what I wanna do like almost every day is a tricep push down. So we got this over here, same thing. I'm gonna either try to increase reps or increase the weight almost every single day if I can. Push myself on these. It shouldn't be taxing my body at all, but it'll be something fun to add into the workout. We'll see where I am after like the end of the month. See if the arms get any bigger at all. We'll do like a little measurement or something. We'll measure Kyle's arms too. See, uh, see how big 10. 21 years old, 10 inch arms. <laughs> Dude, that's what like Ronnie Coleman did. He would do his like age for his arms. Oh really? Yeah. Are you Ronnie, serious? Yeah. He's like, I have to get to 22. Dude, this he year, was like 21. He had 21 inch arms. <laughs> He's like 22. Like yeah, I, I, have, I have a whole like nine months. So I'll say 22. Dude, just like just put some oil in there. Good to go. The freaking uh, synthol. synthol. <laughs> there's some synthol in there. I mean, Greg, there's some synthol in there. There's some synthol in Kyle's arms. He goes up there on the platform at 145 pounds, and he's like, he's got huge arms. <laughs> they just stick a pin in there and pop it. Bars are open till 11. Oh, they're open till 11? Yeah, seven days. Um, so I'll extend it to midnight. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I saw what the red that? cap in there, man. Unreal. What is that? <laughs> Oh my god. Got the double dunk right there. Uh oh. Didn't accept that one either. I'm oh, back in. I see like the red cap. I'm like, you mother. <laughs> so you it? Round two, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> two in one two in one gym session. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Make> it's easier. <laughs> cold, that man. Did, that, not cold that, did not, that was not sliding down. <laughs> All right, if you made it this far, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the end of the video. Um, by the way, if you guys want to check out these hats, these just released for BPN. Same one I always used to wear, this one, but blacked out. Gonna wear this probably pretty much every single day. It's like dry fit, like active wear, super light, but check those out. Code Dangler for 10% off anything BPN, um, BPN subs, hats, whatever you guys want to get. But we're starting up the 30 day arm day challenge. If you guys want to try that out, um, wrote down my starting measurement, 17 inches. We're going to see if we can increase that throughout the month. I've already made several PRs on my biceps and triceps so far. We're like, a week, a little over a week into this thing. Um, it's really fun. It's something to like look forward to at the end of the workout too. That's not very taxing. So been liking that. Something fun to do. I think we got Kyle, we got Johan, we got Jacob doing it too. So we're all going to do this and uh, see if we can get some results out of it. But um, training updates coming soon. So weights are going up for squat. Weights are going up for deadlift. We're back on singles for bench. So really good stuff coming soon. We are 2.5 months out pretty much exactly from Polygia Nationals when I compete um, in Louisiana. So we're getting locked in, we're getting focused. It's gonna be good. So stay tuned for the rest of the videos leading up to that. Uh, we'll probably make like a little series out of it or something, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.